Okay. Now, back to our blueprints folder, where our character is. We're gonna right click, and we're gonna look for user interface, and we're gonna create a widget blueprint. This is gonna be our visual indicators for the super system. So, uh, just put W, I'm just using naming conventions, W super HUD, or just super system, whatever. We're gonna open this, and we are gonna create a progress bar. Just gonna keep it really simple, gonna set the anchor of the progress bar to the middle of the screen, and we're gonna put it, I believe, right here. We're gonna take two units, and we're gonna stretch it right here. Just for testing purposes, you can do it however you want. I'm just following Destiny's visuals, but just keeping it a little bit more simple. Okay, let's quickly see the fill on the right side. You can see the percent. Just gonna put that to yellow. Yellowish orange, I think it is. A very bright yellow. And yeah, let's just leave it like that. So you can see that it increases and decreases. Now, we need, well, let's put this a little bit lower. It's way too high. Let's use the position Y. Scroll a little bit down to this line right here. Perfect. Compile. Now we're going to create the bind or like bind the variable to the progress bar so we can see like when it goes up and down. We're going to go to the percent right here on progress, percent, and we're going to create a binding. And we're going to bind it. Let's see what's the name, first person character. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is we are gonna get owner or get own, and we're gonna get these. We're gonna pick get owner pawn because our player is a pawn or a character which inherits from pawn. And we're gonna cast first person character. Now you can do this or not but I like doing pure cast if I know it's never gonna be null. So I just right click and convert to pure cast which turns the node into a little bit more easier to manage. Or we can just yeah we can just do it the old fashioned way. Just put it like that. And we're gonna copy the return node we're gonna post it twice and we're gonna connect cast failed to this just so we don't get any er errors if it doesn't find this blueprint alrighty now we're gonna create the math to display the, the super energy we just gotta normalize the value which is pretty simple okay so we're gonna drag from character and we are going to look for super energy get super energy so we got our super energy variable and we are going to divide this by the max amount which is 100 which is the value that we use to clamp on the, on the clamp node and this result will give us a normalized value a value between 0 and 1 which is what the progress bar uses. It doesn't use like 400 to 500, whatever. It uses always a value from zero to one. So you always have to normalize your, your variables before putting them here or else they're not gonna work perfectly. So we got this working, I think. We're gonna hit compile and we got that set. Now, let's quickly create a text set it right here we're gonna set the anchor to the middle and we're gonna centralize this the most the best way we can 
gonna quickly change the text color to yellow and we're gonna type super charged like destiny stretches a little bit okay now we want to change the justification just to get the text centralized we're gonna I think we got it a little bit centralized we're gonna just whoa let me stretch this a little bit and let's put I think 32 is a good amount and let's put it a little bit above we don't want it like close to the crosshair we want a little bit above the crosshair a couple of units above like in the city and once we created this uh, let's name it super charge text and we're gonna make it into a variable on the right side of the screen just so we can change the visibility later on so one more thing let's change the visibility visibility to hidden because we don't want to see it right now we only want to see this as a notify when the player super energy reaches the max amount which then allows you to use the super ability centralize this a little bit more there we go compile so we got our super super HUD set up it's not gonna work till we actually create the widget in our player so save let's go back to our player let's right click begin play well we got it right here on the left side oh my god just put it right here so on the end of event begin play if you got it differently just look for the furthest node away let's quickly let's make an event just to keep it a little bit more organized so right click create custom event uh, initialize player widgets or just player widget keep it simple we're gonna drag this create widget and we're gonna create the W super system get owning player we're gonna just get controller we're gonna use zero although it's not recommended to use player controller index zero on multiplayer games because it basically just picks every single player and after we create the widget we're gonna add it to our viewport and we're gonna create a reference promote to variable just to be able to change the super change supercharge text so we're gonna name this uh, super system HUD whatever creates the super system HUD we're gonna compile that and quickly let's see if it worked add to viewport yeah set correctly and play Ah, derp. I didn't run this function here. So, drag here from event begin play, the furthest away node, and call our event. E initialize player widget. And it should work right now. Ooh. What's well, not working here? Yeah, my bad, guys. I think it's this right here. I'm just gonna delete this branch because we're not using motion controllers I deleted the whole VR stuff that comes with the first person blueprint so just delete that and delete this branch or just simply we don't need this seriously just drag this away we don't need this or just delete it all completely fuck it we're not using VR so event begin play initialize player HUD or player widget and now it should work I'm sorry about that I didn't actually know the the first person template included a VR system to it because there's already a VR template available 
anyways we can see that the the thing is working right now the the progress bar is slowly increasing with our values from 0 to 1 but it's actually 0 to 100 so we normalize the values for it to work on the progress bar so we got the bar now quickly let's display the the supercharge text when the player reaches the max amount of super energy strike the event begin play steal it this uh, create widget let's put it right here so we got at super energy I think we should create a custom event remove super energy or no we just cannot use completely so whatever just delete this okay now we need to notify the player when the super reaches the max amount so to change this to visible alrighty we are making sure this is a variable perfect so we're gonna do, do this in player and it's really simple so we're gonna create another custom event uh, initialize or start notify super and we're gonna create another event stop notify super okay so when we start we want to take the reference we created from the hood and we want to get super charge text and we want to set the visibility visibility derp, to visible we can animate and make it like fade in or fade out but we're gonna keep it simple after we set this to visible we're gonna create a set timer and you can do it by function name or event we're gonna do it by event to keep it simple again we're just making the system the most simple way we can and we're gonna drag the event to our stop notify super and the time we're gonna set is five seconds so after five seconds the text is gonna be called become invisible again just so we don't have it always overlapping the screen we're gonna change this to hidden okay so we got the notify system set up now we actually need to call it so there's different ways of doing this 